shoulders. Okay? You see, like this, short arm choke. This is gonna be a lot on the trachea, so don't don't uh, don't squeeze real fast, okay? The other hand is palm up down the back. Palm up down the back. And it will be my head has to stay here. See this won't work. Turn into me. Other way, other way, other way. Yeah, so it won't work that way. So I need to pinch his head with the hip, and then I'll get the choke. Okay, so the head pinch so far you found out is very, very important, right? We'll keep that head control the whole time. Okay, so again. I get to the position. Some of you guys are still looking towards him. Make sure that you look away. This is real important too. If Victor doesn't want to move or he's a good wrestler, he's gonna do everything he can to keep his base wide. So I'm trying to fold this underneath him as much as I can. If he's super strong, I'll take two hands and I'll fold it underneath him. So it makes him able to roll, okay? Boom, now I'm here. So, after you're gonna grab the collar, Let's grab the shoulder maybe. This goes underneath. See how it goes? Look, come over here guys, here's the detail. This will go behind his back, see? Palm up behind his back. The head's gotta stay pinched, and there's the choke. Okay? Yes, you still have uh, something for the rear naked choke is to keep my chin over the wrist whenever I do this. If I go like this, pull my hand off. Pulls it off like onion peels. Pulls this one off and then this one off. So when it comes, box. Okay? So, here, grab the shoulder as high as you can. This will ensure that my forearm is in his neck. Okay? Head pinches, slide the arm out, not a lot of space, and then it's a very short movement, see? Boop, or, okay? And shoulder roll, just for the people who need more practice doing it. Squeeze the head, get behind, gable grip. No thumbs, okay guys? It's like you're clapping. No thumbs, gable grip. Woo. Make sense? Yes. Ready, set.